Shalom, shalom, and greetings from Teshua Community. I am Ima Rafaya, and I know we didn't we missed you last week and the week before that, but we've been very, very busy. Listen to me. If you like our content, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Today we have a special treat for you all, only to the daughters of Tazion, our little ones, how we instruct them in all righteousness, and we work with our children every day. We teach our children. So anything missing in their lives, I take the blame for it today. But today we instruct our children on what is righteous and what is unrighteous. But we work with our children every day, reading, writing, and arithmetic. But today the special treat is they're gonna read, they all had books to read, and they wrote a book report, so they're going to share that with you today. And our first one up will be Tifera. What's your name? My name is Tifera Horn. What's the title of your story? The rain rained. The rain rained on the cat. The rain rained on the dog. The rain rained on the mouse. The rain rain on the frog, the rain rain on the rabbit, the rain rain on the bee, but the rain did not rain on me because I had my umbrella. Show your picture, Tiffy. How old are you, Tiffera? Six. Oh, you you did so well. Give Tiffera a round of applause. Good job, Tiffy. You may go to your seat. All right, Sophonia. Come on up, Sophonia. And tell them your first and last name. Sloan. My name is Sophonia Cuts. What's the title of your story? Playtime. I like, I play with books. I mean, blocks. I play with both. I play with toys. I play with bubbles. Show your picture. Very tough, Sophonia. How old are you, Sophonia? Six. Give Sophonia a big hand. All right, now we're going to hear from Sakaria. Tell us your first and last name, Zakari. Hello, my name is Zakari Cut, and I am eight years old. The title of my story is Five Gifts for Mike. Mike and Kim like to ride bikes. The the ride they ride to the park and Grand rides along. Mike, Kim, and Grand lock their bikes. They like to hike to the pond. They hike in line. The they hike for a mile. Grand is first. Kim is second, and then Mike. Five white ducks swim in the pond. The ducks quack and dive. They nibble on insects. They nibble on insects. Fans make ripple, ripples on the pond. Which fish swims in the pond? Asked Mike. Grant tells Mike that the kind of fish is a sunfish, and the blackfish is a catfish. Here's my picture. Very tough, Zakari. All right, our next student, Yahuda. Tell us your first and last name, Yahuda. My name is Yahuda Miller. The title of your story? Read, ride on. Ride on a bus. Ride on a plane, ride on a bike, ride on a train, ride on a horse, ride on a boat, ride on a sled, ride on a, a float. Show your picture. What do you like riding on? Bikes. Me too. How old are you, Yahuda? Seven. Give Huda a big hand. All right, our next student will be Davida.
first and last name? My name is Davide Rafael Priscilla Horn, and the title of my story is Farm Chores. Dora is a farmer in the mornings. Her dad woke her up in the night. She wished she had no chores. She gave the animals water. She got on her horse and she said, Quickly, we have to see the sunset when it comes up. And this is the picture of her. And she's saying, Hi, I'm Dora. What's your name? And how old are you, Davida? I am eight years old. Give Davida a big hand. All right, our next student will be Mr. Levi. Shalom, shalom. My name is Levi Miller. I'm 10 years old. My title and, my t and the title of my story is Be a Ranger. One fine morning, the ranger knocked on the girl's door. He said, are you all ready to go to the ranch? The girl said, yes. They went to the horses. The ranger said, pick a horse. The girl picked a horse. It was white and beautiful. They went on a ride. After the ride, they t taught her, they told her, they told the girl what the rangers do. The day was over. The ranger said to the girl, did you have fun? The girl said, yes, I had so much fun. And this how old are you, Levi? Ten. All right, let's give Levi a big hand. All right, that we your last. Shalom, my name is Dawi Yaramiya Horn, Edith and Pete. Edith is a ant and Pete is a bird. Edith fell in the river, she almost drowned, but Pete helped her. Later, a cat was stalking on Pete, but Edith ran to the cat fast and bit it. The story of Edith and Pete reminded me of something. If you help someone, they will later on help you. Shalom. Here's my picture. And how old are you, Dawi? Eleven. Give Dawi the big hand. So we hope you all enjoyed our children's little short story. And today I'm giving the daughters scripture to encourage you for the rest of this week. On Shabbat, Rayab talked about um, the word destroy. I mean, I'm sorry, depart. And there are things in our life, once we come to the knowledge, what we've been made free from, we should depart from our evil ways. He talked about iniquity. And he gave us the meaning of iniquity. is our sins, our breaking of the commandments of Almighty Yah. So my first scripture reading, daughters, is coming from Eo. And uh, I'm going to start verse 1. It says, There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Eo. And that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared Yah, and it shewed evil. He hated evil. And I know when people look at that scripture, they think, well, he's talking about my neighbor, my cousin down the street. No, he hated his evil ways. So, daughters, that's where it begins. When you learn to understand this, this, this truth that is preached to you, Yah is talking to you personally that you must hate all of your evil ways. Everything about you that goes against Torah, you say, well, I'm not a busybody. Well, if you're worried about what's happening with everybody else, your neighbors, your cousin, your grandma, and you're not worried about what you're doing, we as women need to study to be quiet. We must mind our own business. Those are evil, corrupt ways. We don't see it that way, but it is. If you've got to know what everybody else is doing, it's evil. Study to be quiet. Learn to work with your own hands. Hallelujah. I want to go to Proverbs, and I want to start at chapter 16, verse 2. It says, all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. All the ways of a woman are clean in her own eyes. Oh, I don't do what they do. I... Well, you do worse than they do, because if you know you're, you're not obeying the truth, you're, wor you're worse than that when they don't know truth. Once we come to the knowledge of the truth, we must abandon our 
corrupt ways, our iniquity, our being deceitful, our being, uh, a, like I said, a busybody. It's not just because you don't smoke and drink, because you can stop those things and be a wicked individual. But it's keeping the commandments of Almighty God. You must practice those things every day. Even the Shabbat. That's something we as the people of Yah, you should keep. Yah said we shouldn't work on that day. So that's the day that you keep. It's set apart that we go to the bed so that we can hear from Almighty Yah. And if you're not hearing it, how are you going to know what to do? And can I tell you, daughters, there are women that love Almighty Yah. There are not many, but there are a few. And you can listen to that age woman, and she will instruct you in what is righteous to do. You can look at her life. If you know a woman and she's righteous in all her ways, you've looked at her life, you've seen her over the years, then you can take her advice, daughters. That's what we need in this hour. Hallelujah. It says, but we must commit our works unto Almighty Yah, and thy thoughts shall be established when you wake in the morning, when you pray to Almighty Yah. You ask Him to put clean thoughts in your mind. When you wake up, you think crazy. I know I do. So I have to cast those things down because it's not pleasing before you Or Oh, well, that sister made me mad yesterday, and that's the first thing you'll wake up thinking. How can I get even? You can never get even. You can only do what is righteous, daughters. We commit our works unto Almighty Yah so that your thoughts can be established. Yah has made all things for Himself. He's made us. He created us that He may get tough fruit from our lives every day. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So Yah knows that there are evil people among us, but He's looking to us to do what is righteous. So we have to practice that every day. You can't get weary in doing right. You just press on. He made me mad. They made me mad. You press on to do what is righteous. So don't ever look at anybody else. Always point the finger to you. Am I doing what is right? Did I speak truth? Did I help that, age, that older woman? I saw her, but I didn't want to help because I didn't feel like it. Go out of your way to help the elderly. Because one day you'll be there too. I'm closer to 70 than I am to 60. So one day someone's going to have to help and assist me. And the way you treat others, that's how you're going to be treated in the end. That's how you will be treated in the end. Hallelujah. It says, everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to your way. Though hand join with hand, he shall not be unpunished. If you're proud in heart, daughters, I don't care who you get to side with you. The reason they side with you is because they're just like you. When that, when that friend or that loved one tell you that you're wrong, don't get mad because most of the time they're right. So when you do wrong and someone tell you that you're doing wrong, just receive it. Even if you're not wrong, still receive it because it's for your benefit. All the ways of a man and woman, Yah knows. Everything that you go through, every trial that you go through, Yah knows. So whatever you go through, take great delight and say, Toda Yah. Every day I said, I don't care what I go through. I've been young and now I'm old. Whatever I go through, I said, Toda Yah. Hallelujah. It says, by high seed and truth, iniquity is purged. So y'all said, depart from your iniquity. By high seed and truth, when you hear Almighty word, the word of Almighty Yah, depart from your iniquity. It says, and by the fear of Yah, men depart from evil. When you depart from evil, you know, you know that you heard the voice of Almighty Yah. And you're going to do everything to please Him. Not to please your best friend, but you want to please Almighty Yah. Every day you should say, Yah, I want to be pleasing before you. Help me. I'm a wicked individual. Help me. Every day I need the strength of Almighty Yah. And so do you. My last scripture verse. When a man's ways, or when a woman's ways, please Almighty Yah, he makes even his enemy to be at shalom with him. I don't care when the, the individual that is raging, I can still be at shalom with them. You don't rage with that individual, you just study and be quiet. It takes two fools to argue, two fools to fight. 
If one is not fighting, if one's not speaking, then the other one has to get quiet. You'll learn that too. So I told a young that I have learned to hear the messenger. Daughters depart from iniquity. Let it not be found here in your heart. Every day strive for perfection. Don't look at anybody else. Always look at you. And you know when you've fallen short. You know when you do wrong. And yes, you know when you do evil. When you purpose in your mind, you're going to get even. That's evil. So let us strive every day to keep the commandments of Almighty Yah. And let us love Him with all. Love Him with all, daughters. And when you do that, you won't fall. You won't fall. What was the song that I sang on the Shabbat? The greatest thing. The greatest thing is you want to please Almighty Yah. And you want to love Him every day even more and more. Practice that. And that will bless your nephesh. Yahweh Baruch you. I hope you enjoyed our, our little ones today. And we'll bring you more content. We're preparing for a graduation. We have two daughters that are graduating this year. Uh, Sarah Horn and Hadassah Miller. They're going to be graduating this year. We're preparing for that, which will take place on June the 9th. And we're also preparing for the feast days. So we're quite busy. But when we can get back with you, we will. Yahweh Baruch, you daughters of Tazayan. Shalom, shalom, and have an excellent yom. This is the community. Say, look at the camera. Say, shalom. Shalom. And, and, and didn't you know the elephants no, we're not, the truck? We're not going to talk about the elephants today. Let's talk about the weather. Show them, look, show the camera. Say, the look weather. at the beautiful flowers. The beautiful flowers. Listen to the here. birds singing. Can y'all sing the camera a song? Can y'all sing? No. Can I can y'all sing? Sing. Look, Raya. Can y'all sing? Let's sing about the elephants. No, we don't want to sing about the elephants. Can you sing a song? Alright, tell the camera, say shalom, shalom, say shalom.